Hey everyone, this is Suja. Thank you so much for joining me today. Today, we're going over Bitcoin, Ethereum, and Dogecoins, like we always do. <laughs> so, um, I'm thinking about the Pinky and the Brain cartoon, and it's like, what are we doing tonight, Brain? What we always do, take over the world. Or in this case, in my case, go over crypto, Bitcoin, Ethereum, and Dogecoins. So again, none of this is financial advice. I'm not a financial advisor. Um, just doing my analysis. This is my opinion, man. The internet is filled with opinions. You know, feel free to have your own and post it on your own YouTube channel when you feel like it. But for the most part, this is just me giving my opinions and thoughts. And hopefully in the future, I can look back and be like, oh, I was right half the time or oh, I was wrong half the time or whatever the case was. So that's that. Uh, so let's begin with Bitcoin. So Bitcoin's on the up and up. Um, what the hell happened to my stochastics? Jesus. Half my indicators are gone. Come on now, don't do that to me. All right, cool. Stochastics are going up um, based on the Kage, right? On the Kage, I'm telling you myself, when I say you, I mean me in the future. You know, the pattern is one, two, collapse. One, two, three, collapse. Draw back, pull back. One, two, we're going to have, we're going to come here somewhere. We might even break it. We might actually reach 77,000 before we come back down again. But what I would like for it to happen is it, it tests around this range, has a slight pullback down to say 62,000, and at the lowest, you know, roughly at 58,000, and then it goes all the way back up. So I really think the three pattern will hold. Um, in terms of anything else, uh, yeah, seems good. Stochastics seem good. Uh, EMA seems good. You know, things are looking pretty good. Price break is looking beautiful. Just look, it broke it broke the 61,000. So just just beautiful. I love it, you know. And we have a cross here. So this little cross here. Usually the crosses play out by the looks of it. So we had a cross here. It played out here. We had a cross right here. Played out right here. Had a cross somewhere around here. It didn't play out much. But, you know, once it came here, it played out poof, had a cross, boom, had a cross here, played out, had a cross here, played out, and now we have a, have a cross here, it's gonna play out. So looks like the stochastics and the, at least the uh, price break charts kind of have a sort of um, good relationship, good synergy. Uh, as you can see, we have the one, two, three pattern forming. Um, and yeah, as I said in the Kage, it'll probably come around here before it has a pullback. It might come up higher. But the only problem with that is the stochastics are, well, the stochastics are still, the thing about the higher prices is when the stochastics hit roughly like 95.98, that's when I would be worried. So I'm just gonna draw a little line and give myself a, yo, you know, future me. Stochastics are a little too high. You know, you might wanna pull back there. So that does it for Bitcoin. I would, if I was smart and I had some money, probably put it in here now, ride this wave, but I'd probably sort of wait for the sort of the little pullback. Again, by little, I mean 62,000 and then, you know, 58,000. And then I'd probably go from there. So, you know, good area to be in, good, good stuff, great stuff, um, perfect. Okay, so now let's go to Ethereum. Hold on, I'm just gonna save this because, you know, saving things is nice. Okay, so yeah, Ethereum's at an all time high as well. Uh, I need to get rid of all these lines. All right, for, what, <laughs> for whatever reason I'm thinking, <laughs> this stupid funny song is stuck in my head. All right, and I won't tell you what. Oh, okay, this area has been broken. All right, so, all right, so that area has been broken. So now all we have to do is figure out where it's gonna go next. So yeah, let's get out our handy dandy. Yeah. So next price point would be 26,502 if we're doing FIV extension. Um, let's see here. I'm just gonna, I'm gonna close the FIV extension. All right, so FIV, let's go FIV retracement. Yeah, so hmm. looks looks good. I'm just all right. I'm gonna go extension. I don't want retracement. So yeah, 
so next bar that I want to really be focused on in this is this one. So it'll be somewhere around this range now. Uh, where's my handy dandy rectangle drawing tool? So it'll be somewhere around here. So it'll bounce around between this area. And that's where, you know, I, if I was smart enough, had the money and the encouragement and not, you know, and then the sort of the courage to jump in, I'd probably jump in at that point, right? I would take this right down and then it, when it breaks this area, that's when I would go back up uh, or out of the tree. But yeah, it looks pretty good. You know, triple signal worked out. Ooh, this looks interesting. All right, so yeah, like I said, you have, oh, <laughs> another hammer. So if this is a hammer, again, this one, two, three pattern follows. Anytime there's a hammer, I'm like one, two, three, four, five, six. Where is it? Yeah, two, three, yeah, four, five, okay. So if there's a hammer pattern, bullish, right? I'm going to expect at least three more of these. So this is a good place to, again, for myself to get in if I wanted to, and then pull back out. All right, so that's that. Um, yeah, that does it for, okay, let's see the Kage. Yeah, again, you know, I think it'll probably come up here, come back way the hell down, test this range in the 20, uh, 2096 area-ish, and then probably go back up. But it's not a, it's not a pattern that um, is solidified. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. I'm seeing seven waist and no, or, sorry, seven shoulders and no waist. So I am rather cautious here. One, two, three, four, and then one, two, three, four, five. <laughs> so suppose that this is a pattern, right? This is a ratio. So one, two, three, four, four, two, one, two, three, four, five, four to five ratio. So, uh, you know, if I divide it, it is what, 1.5. For all these shoulders, we're gonna see in the in the upcoming future drawback because there's always a drawback. There's always a uh, what's it called a, a bear market. We're gonna see seven of these, or not seven, but eight of these little uh, waistlines. Sorry, yeah, red shoulders, shall we say? We're gonna see a lot of waist. One, two, three, four, five, six waist, but a lot of sh a lot of red shoulders. But it's keeping, it's going up. And again, I would think in my way of looking at it and my very limited trading knowledge that this at some point has to come down a little bit to test, you know? And I think the best testing area would be here. Mm, here. These two shoulders are roughly the same area and that's where I think if there's roughly same area then there's a little bit of a chance so interesting how there's two shoulders it forms this little pattern of two shoulders at, at about the same height right and that's sort of the range um, I am hopeful that it'll come back down but I don't know obviously if I knew I could trade with 100% certainty and bada bing bada boom I have money but you know I'm gonna just put a trade in just for the sake of putting a trade in, you know, I'll put a paper trade in here. So I'm gonna put say, yeah, I'll buy 10. I'll buy 10 Ethereums. I'll take profit at 2,600. Jesus, not 17,000, 2,600. Not 2,500, 2,600. So I'm gonna ride this wave. I won't have a stop loss because fake trading. Actually, you know what? No, I'm gonna have a stop loss because fake trading to build good habits. So, you know, if it comes anywhere near say 19, if it goes to 18,000 or 1800, then I probably wanna stop it there. So that's gonna be my trade. Um, I just ordered it. We'll see what happens. And then finally, we're gonna go to Doge Coins. Hurrah, Doge's Bay. Doge is king. Doge is the greatest thing. And that was a wrap. <laughs> oh my God. Doge is, oh God damn. Doge is just on fire. I love you, Doge. All right, if this pattern can, you know, completes, I'm gonna look for more. Jesus, yeah. One, two, it's gonna be a third one. One, two, three, four. 
yeah, Doge is going way more high, way more up, way higher. So it, you know, 10 cents. Doge gonna go to 10 cents, my friends. At least I hope. <laughs> Jeez. All right. I don't think the hash ribbons actually work for Dogecoin. So let's see if we have any indicators. Go back to this one. Where's my SMA? Yeah, there we go. All right, no, no, Bollinger Bands. Yeah, Bollinger Band looks good. What does the MACD say? Looks good. Oh, the crossing was here. So, you know, if anyone bought, it would have been here to buy. Even with an inverse hammer, which is green. Interesting, actually. Uh, let's see. The SMAs don't really do it for me in this chart. All right, so let's see. Huh, so it kinda bounces. All right, not bad. No. Ah, let's look at TD Sequential. Yeah, so usually there's what? Four, one, two, three. All right, probably gonna be a fourth one. All right, so it looks good. Um, I'm going to do an auto fib extension just to see where it can go. So if it works out, if, and that's a big if, then we can expect it to go to 10 cents. Then we could, we could go here and then obviously here. So we're looking at 0 0.10, 0 0.1, 0 0.12 and 0.14 as our main areas of height. Now I'm gonna draw a lovely, where's my little drawing tool? Come on, there it is, rectangle. So I'm looking at this range to be traded. It'll probably consolidate around here and then it'll probably break the area. So that's gonna be where I could enter. And again, none of this is financial advice, not a financial advisor, you know, things look interesting. Um, and yeah, it looks nice. I won't enter the market unless I see a red bar. Then I'll probably enter and I'll probably be red barred out. <laughs> no, I won't. But you know, that's this is the range where we wanna play. And that's that, or by we, I mean me. Again, financial advice is not here. I'm not a financial advisor. This is my opinion, man. I'm really talking to myself in the future. If, you're, if you happen to be watching this, well, good on ya. <laughs> my aim is myself and then, you know, bettering myself daily because that's what life is. Okay, so that does it for Bitcoin, Ethereum, and Dogecoins. Thank you for watching. Hopefully you found it at least somewhat entertaining.